Hello guys, this is the last part of the Blender game asset creation series and in this one I will add some details here with Substance Painter and then export the textures to import it into Unity 2017. For the stone part I will add a dirt material and I use one of the smart materials and just drag it above the stone layer. But I don't want it to cover the whole model, so I will add a black mask and then add a paint effect and go ahead and use one of the textured brushes and paint in again the dirt on some particular areas like around the beams here for example. And I also paint in some dirt slightly with a bigger brush that makes it look more realistic. After the stone part, I select the roof texture set and here you can see that there are some areas that have a vertical grain although they should have a horizontal and vice versa and this is because of the direction of the UVs. To solve this, I will add a wood material with vertical grain on top of the existing wood layer and then add a black mask and switch to the polygon fill. Then I paint the quartz in white for which I want to change the direction of the grain. Ok, and once I'm happy with the result, it's time to export the textures to Unity. That's very simple and I showed this in previous tutorials, you choose File, Export Textures and select Unity and a particular workflow. And I choose Unity 5 Standard Specular. Then I press Export to export the textures. Ok, here we go, here are the textures. And now let's open Unity 2017 and see how to import the FBX. I used the project that I created for the Pillar series with an empty scene and a few post-processing effects for the camera. I just drag the FBX here to this folder, the Models folder. And here's our well imported. And when I select it, I can extract the materials. Press this button here. Then I select the folder where these materials are going to be created and here they are, these are the materials are created with Blender. Ok, before I import the textures let me create some folders inside of my project to organize it a little bit and I will end up with a folder for the pillar model and one for the well. Alright, that's better and now we can select these textures and just drag it here into the well folder. And the next part you already know from previous tutorials, you have to assign the textures to the appropriate slots of the materials, the defuse to albedo, then assign the normals to the normal slot and don't forget to fix the normal textures. There's a fix now button appearing when you assign the normal map, press this and do this for every normal map that you import. And that's basically it and you have to do this for every material. Ok, we're done with the materials and we are ready to drag the well into the scene. Ok, this looks great, but I think I will reduce the smoothness of the stone material and perhaps also adjust the color a little bit. Yes, this looks good. And somebody told me, hey Jay, you forgot the water. No, not at all. I just wanted to use a default water plane from the Unity standard assets. So let's import this. It is located in the environment package. Ok, here we go and I think we have to select water and basic water. 
It contains prefabs that we can use out of the box. For example, a circular plane that would match perfectly. So here it is on the prefabs and I just drag it into the scene. This is really large, so I will scale this down that it fits the size of the well. So this looks nice, but these kind of waves move really fast. So what you can do is open the material and play around with the properties for the speed of the waves. Something like this and then I start the game. And here's the result. Okay guys, this was the last part of my game asset creation series. I hope you like it and if you do, please subscribe to my channel and think about supporting me on my Patreon so that I can continue creating my tutorials. Thanks a lot for watching this and thanks for your support. See you soon here on JNM.